Like I said, we'll be learning uh, how to focus on human resource development. Uh, it's special executive masters in entrepreneurship from the Metropolitan School of Business and Management. And I uh, have a first degree in geography and international uh, from the Amusal University of uh, Certified project management professional, certified health and safety manager, certified in six sigma equipment professional, certified warehouse export management professional, mm -hmm. certified supply chain and logistics management professional, certified procurement and contract management professional, certified facility asset and asset management professional, certified document controller, certified ITO service management professional, and certified testing treatment provider. This is just a few of my certifications that covers areas of management. I also am a certified member of a few bodies, both international and local, which one of such is the National Association of First Aid Treatment Providers, um, the International Association of Safety Professionals in the U.S., the Document Management Institute in the U.S., as well as the Project Management Institute, also based in the U.S. I've led several projects and I do consult and present consulting for quite a number of organizations spread across the Okay, so just, this is just a little brief about me. And the course objective for today, uh, expectation that after completing this course, you should be able to do the following things to, to communicate using link concepts. And of course, when we talk about links, some of us already have some idea from our introduction. I noticed that some of us mentioned some phrases like cost savings, some, some persons mentioned cycle time. Some persons mentioned processes, so I believe some of us already have some idea about what lean management is about. Okay, well, some of us here, how many of us are hearing lean management for the first time? Let me see your hands. You're hearing lean management for the first time. Okay, don't vote it like that, okay? Um, now, how many of us are familiar with Six Sigma? Let me see your hands. I've heard of the word Six Sigma. Beautiful, Six Sigma, okay. Now, for those of us that have heard, at least I want to believe everybody here then has heard about Lean Management Board. Everybody? Is there anybody that has not heard of Lean Management Board now? So I'm assuming everybody has. So, what's the difference between Lean Management and Six Sigma? Anyone? What's the difference between lean management and six sigma? What do we think is the difference between lean management and six sigma? For some of us who have heard about lean, some of us who have heard about six sigma, does anybody want to try? What's the difference between lean management and six sigma? Because I hear people mention cycle time. I hear people mention uh, cost savings. These are different phrases that apply to these areas. And we must also be clear that lean management and six sigma are not the same. So when we use these phrases, you want to understand where you are using these phrases in terms of where does it apply to? What section does it apply to? Is it six sigma? Is it lean? Anybody? Wants to give a try? The difference between lean management and six sigma. Nobody? I guess in the course of the class, we get to know the difference between them. Okay. But the objective of this course is to enable us, of course, as an organization, to be able to think from the perspective of collection of processes to inputs that determine outputs and to use the concept of lean to evaluate the capability of the process or organization and also to recognize the organizational factors that are necessary groundwork for a successful lean effort to also employ the lean concepts or lean skills to lead successful process improvement projects delivering meaningful results to All that I've said is just helping us to see that at the end of this training we should be able to understand what processes entail and what process Blue talks about 
and how you can ensure your outputs are improved upon based on what you are imputing in respect to your activities or tasks that you are involved in on a day-to-day -day basis here within the organization. Now, just to help us see uh, the differences between lean management and Six Sigma. Now, what's the difference between being efficient and being effective? Because I also noticed some persons use that phrase here and said to enable me to become more efficient. But do we know that there's a difference between being effective and being efficient? So, what's the difference between being effective and being efficient? Anyone? Anybody want to try? What do we think is the difference between being effective and being efficient? Nobody? Anybody? Because lean is tilted towards one of these areas, while Six Sigma addresses the other area. So once you use the word, it enables me to become efficient. What aspect are you addressing? Is it lean? Or is it six sigma? Because they are used differently. Anybody? Okay. Now, to become efficient, lane management is what enables you become efficient. To become effective, six sigma is what enables you to become effective. So you cannot use them interchangeably because they are different tools when it comes to managing and ensuring quality. What is quality in the real sense? Quality is about ensuring you meet the customer's requirements or expectations. Quality is not tied to how strong a thing will be or how long a thing will last, but it's about meeting the customer's expectations, meeting the customer's requirements. So, what enables you to be efficient? What enables you to become effective? These are tools, quality management tools, that enable you to become both efficient and effective. Organizations today deploy them together, but they are separate tools that are being used to enable you achieve quality. Now, I'm going to be centering around link for this class. But I will mention in passing what Six Sigma is about so that you can understand the importance of Six Sigma and it's not strange to you whenever you hear about it, whenever people talk about it, it's not strange to you. But they are different tools that help you achieve quality within an organization. And like I said, quality is about meeting the stakeholders' expectation or the customer's expectation. As if you want to ensure quality, you are looking at customer satisfaction. So your customer, if your customer is not satisfied, you have not met the standard of quality as it were. Okay, so what is lean then? What is lean? At the high level, lean is an approach to improving the performance of an organization, an organization through the practice of the discipline of lean. Now, when we talk about lean, it involves the application of the principles whose objective is to enable you to eliminate something very, very pronounced. We call it waste. Now, why is it important we talk about waste? I want to write these two words now, as we're going to be talking about it extensively. I want to write the word waste down. Can we write it somewhere? The word waste. Because lane management is going to help you actualize two things. First, the elimination of waste within the working environment. Waste of resources, waste of time, or waste of, our, of finances, waste in general of resources. So, I want to underline the first word, or write out the first word, waste, elimination of waste. Elimination of waste. That's the first thing you must understand when it comes to the issues of, the, of eliminating waste. The second one involves improving process flow. So it means achieving 
process flow, ensuring your processes flow well. So there are two aspects that lean is addressing. Ensuring you eliminate waste, and secondly, ensuring that you improve on your processes to ensure proper process flow. Now, why is this essential? For example, 